This is part 14 of Bootstrap tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss styling tables using Bootstrap classes. Here are the Bootstrap classes available for styling tables. For basic table styling, use the table class. Let's look at this in action. So here we have a table with a header and a few data rows. At the moment, we haven't applied any of the Bootstrap table classes. So if we view this table in the browser, this is how the table looks like. Let's apply the bootstrap table class on this table element and see what we get. Let's save our changes and when we reload this page, notice we get light padding and horizontal lines. Let's now look at the rest of the classes available. For zebra striping table rows, use table striped class. At the moment, this is how the table rows are. Let's apply table striped class and see what we get. I'm going to apply table striped class along with the table class. Let's reload this page. Notice the table rows are now zebra striped as expected. At the moment, we don't have a border on all sides of the table and we also doesn't have border for the cells. For border on all sides of the table and cells, use table bordered class. So let's apply this class as well along with the other two classes that we have. Let's reload this page. Notice now we have border on all sides of the table and cells. Now let's discuss table hover class. At the moment, nothing happens when I move the mouse over these rows. What we want is when we move the mouse over a row, we want that specific row to be highlighted. And that's exactly the purpose of table hover class to highlight the row on hover. Let's look at this in action. Let's apply this table hover class along with all the other classes that we already have. Notice when we reload the page and when I move the mouse over a row, that specific row is highlighted. To see the effect of this class properly, let's remove table striping by removing this table striped class. As we have removed the table striped class, we shouldn't have table striping anymore. And notice as I move the mouse over, that respective row is highlighted. Let's now discuss table condensed class. Notice the amount of padding that we have around every cell. What we want to do is make this table a bit more compact by reducing that padding. That's exactly the purpose of table condensed class to make tables more compact by cutting cell padding in half. Let's look at this in action. At the moment, this is how the table looks like. Let's apply table condensed class and see what we get. Look at what happens to the table and the padding. Notice the padding is reduced by half and the table has become a bit more compact. Let's now discuss how to make tables responsive. To make tables responsive, use the table responsive class. To understand this class better, I'm going to include last name as well. At the moment, we only have first name. So let's change this HTML. Notice now we have last name along with first name. Let's view this data on a mobile screen size. Look at what's going to happen to these columns as I reduce the screen size. Notice especially the name column. Look at what happens to last name. It wraps onto a new line. As a result, the column width is reduced. Here, we only have four columns. Imagine if you have nine or 10 columns and if all of them start to wrap like this, the column widths become smaller and smaller and as a result, it becomes more and more difficult to read that data. Instead, what we want to do is make this table responsive by providing a horizontal scroll bar and that's exactly the purpose of table responsive class. Now to use this class, let's place this table element inside another div element. So first, let's create a div element. And I'm going to move this closing div element just after the closing table element. And on the div element, I'm going to apply table responsive class. Now, applying table responsive class on the table element itself will do nothing useful. Let's save our changes reload the page. Notice on a large screen size, we don't get the horizontal scroll bar because we don't need that. But as we try to reduce the screen size, look at that. We now get a horizontal scroll bar. Look at the name column. The last name is not wrapped onto a new line. 
Look at that, now we have a horizontal scroll bar. But on a large screen size, we don't get that horizontal scroll bar. Bootstrap also provides contextual classes to color table rows or individual cells. There are five of them. Let's apply these classes on individual rows and see what colors we get. Let's flip to Visual Studio now. On this first row right here, I'm going to use the active class. On the second row, I'm going to use danger class. And on the third row, let's use info class. On the fourth row, success. And on the final row, let's use warning class. Let's save our changes. Reload the page. Notice we get different colors. Thank you for listening and have a great day.